there was two superpowers in this world and it was good to have two superpowers because we can move from this side to that side and that side to this side and suddenly one power superpower broke into pieces and then america became the super supreme power and the breakup was because of gorbachev mikhail gorbachev born 2nd march 1931 when russia died on 30th august 2022 in moscow just this tuesday this week tuesday today is 3rd september four days back was a russian and soviet politician who served as the last leader of the soviet union as the country's head of the state from 1988 to 1991 he served as chairman of the presidium supreme soviet from 1988 to 1989 chairman of the supreme soviet from 1989 to 1990 general secretary of the communist party of the soviet union from 1985 to 1991 and president of the soviet union from 1990 under the country's dissolution in 1991 mikhail gorbachev said peace is not unity in similarity but unity in diversity in the comparison and conciliation of differences peace is not unity in similarity if you look into that you can understand how india survived in so many castes and religions so many languages it was in diversity was that union and that union made so much of peace which throughout the length and breadth of india it sounds from morning to no night the only one sound india knows it is called the mantra the only one sound india could hear was the sound of that power which is called in english peace and india calls it in its sanskrit language om shanti 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 throughout from morning afternoon evening night people all will say shanti 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 because they know whatever languages you speak from north to south to east to west of india 1.3 billion people speak different languages practices different cultures yes and still they all sit together and eat almost the same kind of food peace is not unity in similarity if if you think peace is going to be the similarity then most of the other religions were wrong which were born in the middle east they want similarity in the religion and they couldn't succeed because inside the religion itself break up happened and two biggest religion in the middle east which is born was christianity and muslim islamic religion similarity was not going to be a success the british as the sun never sets under the british empire was once a super supreme power they thought similarity might work out they could have wanted to put one language english language around the length and breadth of the world similarity was not and they could never see peace they could only see mutton pieces not our om shanti 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 they could not see gorbachev found out peace is not unity in similarity because soviet union is such a huge big country with varieties of states mingling and varieties of languages and you should be able to enjoy the variety of music the languages variety of raga thala palvi yes just the sound varieties of sound is beautiful and varieties of dishes what they make is beautiful you could enjoy and varieties of dresses each region having is just beautiful yes it was said one of the greatest 
singers of India or the world that I've ever seen, his name was Yeshu Das. Yeshu means Jesus and Das means servant of Jesus. But it, a little translation of the original language is called Yeshu Das means servant of Jesus. But he was a great singer. Nobody could beat him. And it seems every year he comes to Bangalore City in Chamarajpet and he used to give a big uh, orchestra or as a big what you call singing program. And one time he was on the stage, he saw a girl among the crowd and he left the stage, he ran, everybody was shocked. Why the greatest singer is running? What did he see? Not similarity. But diversity, he saw a different dress color, color which he must have seen when he was a child. You ran to see a girl wearing a half sari. What a beautiful, when the greatest singers feel the diversity, varieties of food, varieties of dresses is just mind boggling. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti called peace, peace, peace. All others, similarities, mutton pieces, P I E C E S. They cut it into pieces and they allowed the war. The war was going on. All those religions which believed, all those countries believed in similarity, went for war and war and war. And even with all the high technology, all by best gadgets, all the best churches and all those things, they couldn't come to a point. Right inside the house, it is burning. Mikhail Gorbachev said, peace is not unity in similarity, but unity in diversity. That's the time. A teacher understands the child in diversity, variety faces in the classrooms, variety mind, variety food, variety styles they practice. So when the teacher has to speak one language, she has to find out that one language breaks up into, if there are 40 children, into 40 pieces. And then if you cannot convince, don't convict. You have to find out a way to convince. When you try to find out a way to convince, actually you don't get angry. You don't punish the child. Corporal punishment is, punishment is wrong in India or most of the countries. When you get angry, when you punish the child, you are trying to create similarity. When you understand 41, one, one answer what the teacher teaches the child and she finds or she finds 40 children and she gets a chance to see 40 different colors of her. Yes. One answer from one question, you got varieties, multiple interpretations of answers. Interpretation, multiple interpretations according to the child. When you speak, wow, the class is electrified. Teacher finds she's healthy or he's healthy. The same goes for the family when I'm talking about the family and joint family and the family tree. Yes, it's impossible now to go back to the joint family, everybody says. To go back to the family tree. Because you are frightened. You are thinking of similarity. You are not thinking diversity is beautiful, varieties. The mind wants variety. You don't want variety. The mind, the body is asking for diversity. And in the diversity is beauty. If you go with that mind, you can find Shanti peace in the meeting of your joint family, which stabilizes the family tree. When your joint family tree stabilizes, you can find most of the diseases are down. Peace is not unity in similarity, but unity in diverse unity. That unity of trying to understand the rainwater with the solar and the wind energy and the diversity of different varieties of trees, every tree you go half the tree, varieties, diversity of varieties of pet animals and other animals and birds which you try to talk your language you, you know but they could un they could feel even if they don't understand the, the, your face expression they could understand the trees could understand they could bear more fruits and give us give us more flowers same as the animals and you get resistant power you become strong and in their strength you find gold riches truth and god resides in that try to find out try to understand that peace is not unity and similar to god which is but unity in diversity but in the comparison conciliation of comparison when you compare and you have conciliation of 
differences wow you have one of the best food you have one of the best songs it's got fusion of the east and the west or whatever you call it it's always beautiful in that beauty lies your stay rest in peace dear Mikhail Gorbachev we love you whatever be the reason Russians think or the present Russian president Putin thinks is different we know what happened you were an intelligent person a peace loving person just go in peace to the world rest in peace